Hey guys, welcome to my top city of sources choices of 2011. These haven't all necessarily come out in 2011, but they are updated regularly. And uh, something on, this is my first video, but with the ones that are going to come out, they're going to go fast, they're going to be to the point, because I'm tired of watching ones that are really slowed and delayed. This one is a little bit hypocritical. I'm only showing the loading screens because I need time to explain this. The other ones, I'm not even going to show city of loading. And um, in this video, there, this is the top seven choices of sources that I have. And the reason I did seven is because most other, most other videos do ten, and a lot of them are like the same. And these are just these are all different for the most part. All right, so we're going to cancel this. I don't want it to update anything. All right, so if you don't know how to add sources, uh, jump to the end of this video. There's a quick tutorial. It'll also say in the sub bar. So you're going to go to Manage, and um, after you click on Manage, you're going to see this screen here. Then you're going to click Sources. That will take you to your Sources page. At my number seven pick for sources, it is Cydia dot the warm dot tw all links are going to be in the sub bar this is it right here this source contains many useful programs most of them shells and um, stuff that you do in mobile terminal couple of apps but um I, don't, I can't really go into specifics a lot of the stuff isn't allowed but it is very cool you should check it out for if you're an advanced user i definitely check it out it's got many different things that are extremely helpful. This and the Bukaki repo, which I'll show next. That's cydia.thewarm.tw. All right, this source, bukaki.hostei.com, is another one for advanced users. If you're a basic user, I wouldn't do it. This has other shell programs, ones that are better than the previous one. Also, if you add this source, you um, with the new updated Cydia, it gives errors after uh, refreshing, but it should still work. Mine still works. I still get updates. It just gives me the occasional error or two. If you don't like errors, don't add it. Also, if you don't really know what you're doing, don't add it. It's got some pretty advanced stuff. And it is, with the new release, it's very easy to um, remove sources that have errors. You just go straight in and delete them, and the errors don't show up anymore. My number five choice is Haculo.us. Obviously, a lot of people know about this one. Has um, the Installus app, which I'll be describing top apps in a different video. So if you want specifics there, I'll give the link to that. Um, this one has Installus. That's the main thing it's for. Also, some cracking utilities. My number four pick is going to be iRepo. iRepo is uh, managed by the website that also hosts Unlim videos. Some of you, some of you might know that. Unlim videos is their um, their app for getting free movies and TVs and stuff. And the website is i4iphones.info, and the uh, link will be in the sub bar too. And if you don't have Unlim videos, you should get that. They've got a great community and a lot of other cool videos and. Lots of movies, stuff that's out in theaters and other things you can get. But uh, iRepo contains many useful Cydia applications. Not all of them, not all of them, just a lot of the useful ones. So I re strongly recommend it. I definitely recommend uh, getting this source and also on Limb Videos and checking out their site at i4iphones.info. They got lots of uh, videos, TV shows, movies when they're still in the theater, as soon as they hit release date shows as soon as a new one comes out they'll have that episode a like, great community and also they have a repo that is not cluttered whatsoever hardly any of the useless repetitive themes just great tweaks and mods all right at number three the source i chose is insanely i it's repo.insanelyi.com a lot of people have this as their top one just for having so much stuff, but that's exactly why it's not my top one because it does have way too much stuff, I think. Look, look at all the a wonderful 
HD whatever themes. I mean, those. I mean, if you're, unless you're a big fan of those, then this is a good one to get. But the, that to me, it just clutters it and makes it forever to download um, the database and stuff. I just. I mean, it does. It does have lots of good uh, city of mods in it, and apps, and tweaks, and other things. That's why it's my number three. I just think it takes a little long to load, and it's a little cluttered. So, insanely, I. It's not my top, but it's definitely up there. My number two source is macosmobile.com. Not totally sure how many people know about it. This is apt.macosmobile.com. This is a very convenient. Um, uh, source this would definitely without any question be my number one except for the package descriptions are in Spanish on this screen looking at it now you can see that I don't know if you can see but these are all in Spanish right now when you actually go into each one it uh, gives an English description below so I mean a bit from this screen you can't really see it also it has a top downloads and uh, top themes section which makes it useful um, it's not as cluttered as Insanely I. And another good thing about Mac OS Mobile is that every single time I see Cydia with a new app out that costs money, I immediately see a Mac OS Mobile uh, crack version of it come out. The updates are incredible. It's immediate. I've, I haven't seen any source faster than this. My number one source is Excelize.com. Cydia.excelize.com. Links are down in the sub bar. This one has many apps. I don't think it's nearly as many as Insanely I, um, but it also makes it load faster. And I think most of the apps that um, it's missing are just clutter ones that aren't really useful. This has a couple of the good themes in it. As you can see here, some of the, these are some of the good ones. And also has some um, ported ones that are for HD. They have imported the standard detail. They also have some in uh, Mac OS Mobile too. But this has any city of tweak or mod that you could think of just and the majority of them are updated it doesn't it doesn't update nearly as fast as mac os mobile does though mac os mobile updates a lot faster but yep those are my uh top seven sources and uh all right here is how to add sources if you're new to the ipod jailbreak scene or if you just need a refresher or whatever most people know how to do this but if not this is how you do it first you're gonna open cydia obviously make sure you're connected to the internet you can still view packages, just not the long descriptions. You can't add sources or anything uh, unless you're connected to the internet. So get that out of the way first. And by the way, in case you didn't know, sources are just a great way to get new different um, apps and tweaks that Cydia doesn't offer. And also um, some, some of their paid ones that you can get for free just to trial it but you got to delete it <laughs> it's the first thing you're going to do after you have city open click over on the manage tab down there at the bottom after that you're going to come over here to sources and you're going to click in here on the sources then you're going to at the top right there see the edit button click edit then the top right click add this is where you type in the URL. Make sure you uh, have HTTP. A lot of times, um, I, I haven't really seen it been, be able to work without HTTP. I haven't tried in the new Cydia release, but it hasn't seemed to work for me in the past. Also, some apps might require you to put the backslash on the end if it's like .com slash Cydia or slash repo or something. Sometimes, if you don't put the backslash, you might get errors and it might not add the right thing or anything at all. So this is, this is where you put in your... Um, your Cydia source URL. After you have it in, all you do is click the Add Source button right here, obviously. Just click that. And then it'll go through and download all the packages for it, and they'll show up here. And these little red buttons here, that's how you delete them. If you add something you don't like, or if you just want to get rid of something because it's taking up space, you delete it. Then you click Done. After everything's reloaded, you can get right in and uh, start viewing them. Alright guys, thanks for watching my top city of sources. Thumb up and subscribe for more. This is my first vid, but I'm going to be making a lot of uh, tutorials. And if you want to request a tutorial or a review of an app or a game, subs uh, comment on my channel and also subscribe, and I'll try to get it done as fast as possible.